Tonight, one of the Metro's smallest school districts is joining dozens of other districts in our area working to prevent overdoses. As Denver 7's Micah Smith shows us, the hope is that naloxone could save lives. Pretend that she has overdosed. These nurses are demonstrating how to use a life-saving drug, naloxone. You would stick it in here. And they're doing it. From what we know, he had taken a pill crushed up. It was fentanyl. Because month after month. What we think she thought she was getting was an oxy pill to sleep. Families throughout the Denver metro are losing loved ones to fatal opioid overdoses. It's a small district, so we serve five schools. So Alexis Barrer, CU College of Nursing senior instructor, who manages this youth health clinic on the Sheridan School District campus in Inglewood says she wants to make sure the district is prepared. In the last year since COVID, we've um, had a few students in the district who have lost their lives or lost family members related to overdoses. You can still give them this. Barrera and CU College of Nursing student right, cool. Natasha Hansen, whose capstone project is focused on naloxone, are talking about the best ways to train teachers and staff on how to administer naloxone, which reverses the effects of an overdose. We have the training for the staff at our preschool and at our elementary school as, as well as with the middle school and high school and alternative high school. Barrer says older students have been asking for this. They're learning about it and hearing about it on things like TikTok and Instagram, and they're thirsty for information and for support on it. I've had a, family, or a student who was um, present when a parent of another student had overdosed and lost their life, and she said to me, if only we had Narcan in the home. For parents who see this report and go, what in the world is happening in my child's school district? What words would you share with them? It's really meant to keep students safe. Right, it's a tool just like having a defibrillator. I think what's important too about opiate or overdosing is it's not always heroin, it's not always street drugs, it's actually more common to be prescription drugs. Teens in particular abuse prescription opiates that they find in their parents' cabinet, but heroin and opioids, same chemical, body doesn't care if there was a script written. Reporting in Inglewood, Micah Smith, Denver 7. And in 2019, the Colorado legislature passed a law allowing schools to get naloxone for free or reduced cost. The State Department of Health says at the start of this year, about 65 school districts were enrolled in the state's naloxone bulk purchase fund. Going in depth, the brand name version of naloxone Narcan is now available in stores and online at Rite Aid, Walmart and CVS. Experts say increasing access could save more lives, but the price remains an obstacle. Right now, pharmacies are selling Narcan for about $45 a box that includes two doses. For a lot of people, it's going to be a barrier. A lot of people. We have people who work regular nine to five bank, IT, other jobs, um, they can afford Narcan at the pharmacy, but many cannot. If you live in Denver, you can get naloxone for free. All you have to do is fill out a form on the city's website, denvergov.org.